House Chair, today technology enables law enforcement agencies to not only electronically invade the intimate personal sphere of people's lives, but also to maintain and cement its presence there, continuously gathering, retaining, and where deemed necessary, using information to fight criminality who are becoming more and more sophisticated. Now, RICA is the primary legislation regulating the interception of communications, and it provides that such interception may only take place as long as it is in accordance with the provisions of the Act. And reportedly, the majority of RICA-related warrants are issued for investigations involving drug dealing, drug trafficking, vehicle theft and car hijacks, armed robberies, corruption and fraud, assassinations, murder, and terrorism. Now, the matter before the House today concerns the issue of a certificate of exemption, and the Minister of Police motivates the exemption on the basis that crime intelligence uses such listed equipment to investigate, combat, and prevent such serious crimes. Now, the ACDP appreciates that such equipment is necessary. However, at the same time, we are also fully aware of abuses that has been set out in various reports, including the Zonda report, uh, the United Nations Human Rights Committee indicated that the safeguards in RICO are insufficient to protect private rights of subjects. It said, the committee is concerned about the relatively low threshold for conducting surveillance in the state party and the relatively weak safeguards, oversight and remedies against unlawful interference with the right to privacy contained in RICO. Now, one of the safeguards is applications must be made to the designated interception judge. Now, it's interesting to hear what the designated interception judge in Kabindi has to say about the inadequacies of RICA. And in a 2021 report to Parliament, she stated that state authorities lie to get interceptions approved. And this is a shocking reality. She noted two cases in court processes where state agencies intercepted journalist communications and where police officials had fabricated and misrepresented information to the interception judge. And we now know that the RICA has been found by the Constitutional Court to be unconstitutional. So one has to weigh up the matters of public interest with these abuses. And we raised, the ACDP raised these concerns during the committee's deliberations on possible abuses and what safeguards are to be taken. And we appreciate the report has indicated that safeguards need to be improved. However, when one considers the increasing incidence and sophistication of criminal syndicates, then clearly those police officials that are doing the correct job in fighting crime and fighting the sophistication need to be supported. The ACDP will support this report. I thank you. Thank you.